Hello all my crafty friends. I am here to show you a tutorial on how to make a photo um, accordion gift box. And I used Cricut Maker and Cricut Design Space to do this craft today. I will link both of the links to the SVG file that I found and to my SVG file that I created using the box underneath this video. For this project, you just need adhesive and cardstock. For my adhesive, um, you can use either two-sided tape or art glitter glue is my favorite because I like the fine point tip. And you're going to need three sheets of cardstock, one for the lid, one for the box size sides, and then one sheet of cardstock for the interior accordion, which is going to hold your photos. I like to use pattern paper that's double-sided. So go ahead and get your materials cut, and then when you can refer to this video, you're just gonna fold along the score lines for the lid. The lid is really easy to put together, probably the quickest part of this whole project. So here I am just folding along the score lines and then I'm going to take my art glitter glue. Again, this is the best glue. I absolutely love this glue. It dries fast, but not too fast. It's easy to work with and the super fine tip is wonderful for all projects. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on each tab of my corner of the box so that I can glue it together. And you can use double sided tape or another glue medium that you have. This is just what I recommend. And you will see I just takes a second to set them, which is why I love the glue so much. That super fine tip makes it really easy to get into the crevices too, which you'll see shortly. This box, I made a four by four box and it holds three by three photos. Now at the end of this video, you won't see me put the photos on this um, gift box design, but just cut your photos down a three by three size and then you can apply them afterwards. There's my lid. Worked great. Okay, so now the sides of the boxes are a little finicky to deal with. So I decided to pause the video and show you them folded and where, how the tabs line up so that you can understand it a little bit easier because it does take a few minutes. It's kind of like putting a puzzle together to get them to work. And the bottom of the flaps, you do have to fold up and you'll see that it makes two sides to the box. So right here, you can see that that makes one corner and that's the piece with the tab sticking out at the bottom. You can see, um, I really don't know how to explain it, but you'll see this, this next one right here. There you go. So I'm gonna fold that in there. And this is the piece you wanna start with first. It kinda has the indentation instead of the tab sticking out. It's just easier to start with this piece first. So I just tuck my little notch under the flap. That gets me started. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue on that folded tab just to stick things down and make it easier to work with. Doesn't matter which one you, you decide to glue down first. I hold it with one hand to keep my box the shape I want it. Just add a little bit of glue and then it just takes a second for it to set. I tried this two times for this video and starting with this piece just seemed to be the best. And you're gonna to wanna to leave that little pocket open. Don't glue that shut because the tabs have to fit into that to keep your box together, which you'll see shortly. And then here's where that super fine tip on that art glitter glue comes in great. I just stick it right in the crevice there and get it together nice and, nice and easily. Okay, so there I have one angle of my box. And there's the pockets that you're gonna need on each side. And then I take my second piece. And I'm gonna show you how that fits into the other piece before you glue it together. So I take that flippy or that floppy flap, floppy flap. <laughs> and go ahead and stick it right into the open side of your box. That gives it some stability so that you can continue to glue along. It just takes a second to get it in there. Patience is key with paper crafting. This is one of the more simpler boxes too. I tried a few different designs and this was one of the ones that I liked best for the tutorial. There, now it's all folded together. And you can see here, I just wanna make sure that my sides of the bottom of the box are tucked in before I begin gluing. 
you want a nice clean look on the bottom with all those tabs nice and tucked in the inside. And there we go. Looks great. And in the inside, you can see the way it's supposed to look. And at this point, you can take that art glitter glue and you can go ahead and, again, that super fine tip, get it right in there and secure the sides of the box. It doesn't take much. You only need a little bit. And I love this box design because of the fact that it um, is just a little more intricate with the folds going into it, into each other's sides so that it holds it nice and steady and it doesn't, even if the glue, not that it's going to, but even if the glue was to give out, it would still, the box would still hold together nicely because it's all folded into itself, which I really enjoy. Now these can be embellished in many different ways. I left mine plain. For this video because I don't want to deter you from doing yours one way or another. They can be used, used for any occasion, graduation, birthday, Father's Day, whatever you want to do with them. You can embellish the outside, you can embellish the inside. So much you can do with this. One of my favorite crafts. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Just use your fingers and press nice and make sure that everything's nice and glued down. And then I always give my box a quick check by putting the lid on it and that way you know that it's a nice fit before you get too far into your project. And it looks good to me. And you could even cover up those raw edges with some embellishments on the sides if you if you don't like them showing but it doesn't bother me. And there you go. You've got your box. And now we're going to show you how to do the accordion fold on the inside. So one 12 by 12 sheet cuts three strips for your accordion fold. And the score lines are there, you just can't see them. So I just wanted to pre-fold pre them for this video so that you could see that. And I do believe these are three and a half by three and a half and then the photo size to glue on three by three works great. You shouldn't have to resize the file at any point. You could be able to open the SVG file and just click make it um, and keep it that size if you like the size that I'm showing you in this video. So that one edge, I just glued down a tab. I have an extra fold there at the bottom of that square. You can pick any edge of any of the strips to do that. But I just like to have a little tiny piece in there. And you could have it so that the pattern paper shows on either side. I chose the pattern paper for this. If you're using a solid double-sided paper, it doesn't matter which way you fold it. In my first box, I used some two-sided tape, which worked great. And for this video, I just used my art glitter glue again. It worked just as good. So at this point, you're just going to want to glue your accordion folds together. And you can make this any length you want. It doesn't have to be three. You can make a couple, cut a couple sheets of those accordion folds. Make it as long as you want to hold as many photos as you want. It's completely customizable. And you can embellish them any way you want. They can hold photos, they can hold quotes, words, pictures, whatever you want to put on them. I kind of want to make another one where I have some pockets on my accordion folds for some hidden little note cards and things like that. Again, the ideas are just endless with this design. And that's all it takes for that part of the project. And I always give it a test fold, tuck everything in nicely, make sure it works before I glue that bottom tab in. And at this point in the video, I did realize I folded one tab wrong, so it was really good that I did do that test to make sure it worked out nicely. And there we go, nice and fixed. Perfection. And now we are going to use my Big Bite Crocodile by We Are Memories Keeper to put a cute little pull tab on our accordion flap using an eyelet. And um, I used a 3 16 eyelet for this. So I just go ahead and punch a quick hole at the 3 16 size where I want it on the top of my accordion flap. In my video of the final project that I did, 
before this one, I used leather and it worked great. So if you want to do a leather pull tab, I highly recommend that. For the purpose of this video, I just went ahead and used cardstock because I know not everybody has leather. And if you don't have an eyelet tool like the Big Bite Crocodile, you can just glue it on with um, adhesive, two-sided tape, whatever you prefer, and it will work the same. So there I'm just setting my eyelet with a nice blue eyelet to match the pattern on the accordion fold. And there we go. I love, love eyelets. They just add just an extra touch to all the paper projects that I do. With that Big Bite Crocodile is one of my favorite tools and I highly recommend it. They also make a smaller version. And then again, I just tuck that into the box, give it a quick test, make sure it's how I want everything. And then I go ahead and I'll glue that tab into the bottom. I decided to fold it over the other way. And I really like the pattern paper, the two-sided pattern paper for this design. That'll be a fun one to embellish. And I just stick it on, on one of the edges. It doesn't matter. It's up to you when you are designing yours, how you want it to look. And then fold it back in. Now my tab was a little bit long, so I was just kind of playing with it right here to try to figure out how to get it to the best fit. After the video, I did go ahead and shorten that a little bit. I just folded it over. It really didn't affect the design at all. It worked great, but I wanted to make sure that it, it worked good when I get the photos on it. So just be sure to measure that tab before you put it in there. You can learn from my mistakes. And there is your finished accordion fold box, ready for photos. Perfect. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. You're going to have so much fun with this. It's easy, it's simple, it's sweet, and it can be done a hundred different ways. So thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. This was my first YouTube video, so thank you for bearing with me. Um, lots more to come in the future. I'm just a beginner at the, at the video part of it, but I'm excited to keep going. Thanks so much, guys. Happy crafting. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Feel free to share and let me know if you have any questions. Oh, and by the way, you can also add a ribbon to, fi to finish this off. Completely forgot about that before I finished my voiceover. And now you also have some embellishment ideas. These are ones I had pre-cut for Father's Day. You could put them on the side. You could put them in the interior, whatever you want to do. <laughs> like I said, do it any way you want. I really like taking the Happy Father's Day and putting it on the inside of the box as well. That's another option. So I hope this inspires you, gives you a little bit of um, ambition and creativity to create something fun. Handmade gifts are the best. They're so meaningful. And these embellishments are also in the SVG file, so it's easy for you to just go ahead and use those or make your own. I size them for however you'll need it. So have fun.